Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. So 21st of November 2017 is when the OnePlus 5T was launched in India and I was a part of the launch event and I liked the phone so much so that you know I went ahead and ordered one and since that day you have been seeing what all I have been doing around with the phone. So today we're not going to talk about a custom ROM, we're not going to talk about a mod or something like that. We're going to talk about the full review of this particular phone from my point of view, from a flashaholics point of view from a person who really really likes trying out new things on his phone now you will find tons of reviews out there on youtube and on all the blogs and websites stating all the basic things like how's the battery life how's the camera how's the screen what are the improvements over the oneplus 5 and whatnot but in this video well this video will be a review there will be almost everything covered up but then again a major part of it will be towards the idea of how root friendly or how developer friendly this particular phone is. Now, the reason I bring that up is because companies have been trying to grab developer attention because they know Android is customization. Customization is the name of the game. So, you know, if you take an example of uh, Huawei, they recently launched the Honor View 10. And honestly, I was enticed to give up my 5T because I've been using it for more than a month and that's that's about how much I use depending on the nature of work I have and I like swapping phones as well. The Honor View 10, as you might be knowing, launched in India for 30,000 rupees, 29,999. Now that's with 128 gigs of storage, six gigabytes of RAM, an AI chip, Kirin 970, 3750 mAh battery, dual cameras, fingerprint. So, you know, if you look at the Honor View 10, that phone looks like it was built to compete with the OnePlus 5T. So leaving that aside, this is not an on review 10 video, they will come up later. But uh, the reason I bought that topic up was because they gave 1000 phones to developers and they've already released the source code. Now I know OnePlus is very developer friendly, but that's, that's the way to go too. Hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. Let's review the OnePlus 5T. Some people call it a boring design and whatnot. So to begin with, uh, let me ask you guys, if, if someone calls this a boring design, I don't know what a good design is. They've taken a simplistic approach and grown up on the OnePlus 5. It was already a good device, it just made it better. I don't want a notch on my phone or probably just because it is a glass phone, I don't want a fingerprint scanner at an awkward place. From the design point of view, it is a great design. The front comes with an 18 is to 9 aspect ratio and the back is all plain anodized aluminium brilliant to the touch and not that grippy but the phone feels solid and that is what you should commend and I really really appreciate that now apart from that other things that I'm going to talk about is uh, let's let's talk about battery life now battery life has been amazing for me you know the screen on time that, that's the language we will talk in screen on time was about six to eight hours minimum and uh, after making a few mods and following the video or the guide that i used in that particular video i was about to get about 10 to 11 hours of screen on time now that's brilliant coupled with this dash charging probably one of the fastest charging speeds in the world and that too without the phone heating up and any other issues so that sums up the battery life, the charging. Now let's talk about features. Now, as you're looking at the screen right now, it's simply fluid. Oxygen OS is beautiful. It tries to keep up to the latest Android versions and it updates on time. But then again, yes, it has a few features up its sleeve like parallel apps and a few other features which work really, really well. So that is how OnePlus has been. And that is the reason this review is all 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 good things about the oneplus there are a few downsides to it we will go ahead and talk about them but then again those are not necessarily deal breakers for example a premium build quality well this this doesn't scream premium but then again it sounds it, it feels premium it's good to hold and it feels just right 
Well, there are a few other devices like the LG V30 Plus, the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, the Note 8, that feel better because of their all glass sandwich design and a lot of other things. But then again, you've got to think the amount of money that you're paying or price to performance ratio. Talking about performance, that brings us to one of the most exciting features or parts of this particular review or using this phone. The Snapdragon 835 is a dream processor. It works flawlessly coupled with the beautiful software that OnePlus has laid out and it just works. Six gigabytes or eight gigabytes, it, it's beautiful. 64 gigabytes, if, even if you fill it to the full capacity, there's not a lot of problems and the apps stay in memory just like that. The review that I posted a couple of days back in which we tested a custom ROM against a stock ROM, the Oxygen OS still had a few apps running. Heck, it, it even had Asphalt Extreme in memory. So that's brilliant stuff. As far as performance and fluidity go, this phone has everything going for it. Now we come to the camera, the important part or the interesting part. Over a period of time, it just grows on you. The portrait modes, the low light photography and the features of manual mode, you know, the exposure settings, you can do everything the camera to api ability to shoot raw shot on oneplus talk about camera features and it has all going for it you have time lapse you have slow motion kudos to oneplus for making a device which is an all-rounder which takes care of the pricing the build quality the software experience the battery life a good display decent enough cameras and whatnot so, well, as far as I'm concerned for this price point for 2017, I'm mighty impressed and very, very satisfied with OnePlus 5D as a purchase because I'm paying half the price and I'm getting almost all the flagship features. So that was all that I had to say about the OnePlus 5D. This was more like my personal opinions and review. But then again, since the time I got the phone on 22nd November, I have been loving it apart from a few issues that I had with the build quality of the previous pack case and even that is sorted by OnePlus now. So well OnePlus you have a winner on your hands and if you're someone who's watching my video and thinking of buying it, take a look at the View 10. If you like going the Huawei route, you are more than welcome to do that. But then again if you want a pure Android experience, faster updates and you can make do with the AI chip, I guess you're intelligent enough for that but then again yes. Go for the OnePlus 5T if you are looking for a phone in this price segment. Highly recommended by Smartphone Tutorials and that was the review guide. I was thinking of going live. I've been getting a lot of questions on my channel about various videos that I've made trying to help people. So maybe once a month I can go live and I can answer all your questions that you have. The Redmi 5A giveaway is on and we are doing really really great. I really appreciate all the efforts you guys are putting in and the channel is growing and you guys are growing with me with the growth of the channel there will be better giveaways better content and better stuff coming up so if the channel hits 4000 subscribers in the month of january i'll be giving away a brand new redmi 5a share it with your friends like the video if you don't like you know what to do comment in the comment section and suggest a few videos that you would like me to cover thank you for your time goodbye